Okay, we've got the, uh, the scooter rack here, the uh, Heyman Reese um, hitch. That's a standard bolt that comes with it. Two people easily fit it into the slot. Jiggle it around a little bit, in she goes. You'll notice there's two holes in the uh, the shaft just then. There's a pin that comes with the scooter rack, which is a bit smaller than the one uh, he's holding there. And that's if you uh, had two holes in the tow bar fitting. Just push the pin through. That pin comes with the tow bar when you buy it. And you'll also notice uh, just above the hand there, there's a little screw. That's the anti-wobble plate, uh, anti-wobble screw, and it stops the um, tray from wobbling up and down. Fit the pin to the uh, bolt that holds the scooter rack in a place so it doesn't fall out of the, the tow bar. Use the handle on the scooter rack, couple of pins, locks it into place, and there's the ramp. Now this is the uh, roadside ramp. The new racks are, are all left-hand side ramps and they're also a bit bigger than this. Okay, let's get, this is a full-size scooter, this one. And the uh, easiest way is just to reverse it up. You've got the weight of the the ramp on the right-hand side, so it's always a good idea to stick the weight of the motor of the scooter on the left-hand side and it just helps balance everything out. Okay, just make sure it's all uh, nicely positioned. Take the key out, put it in a safe place, have a look for anything else that could fall off while it's in transit. Um, basket, front basket, rear basket, uh, a flag perhaps. Anyway, just uh, lift the ramp up, lock it into place with the two pins. We uh, give you a strap. So just tie it down and that uh, just prevents it from bouncing out of the scooter rack. And tie the excess to the ramp, just stops it from bobbing up and down and moving around. The less uh, movement you've got, the better it is. Okay, and uh, off we go. Very easy, very straightforward. This is a really steep driveway. So uh, a bit like uh, reversing a trailer, you would probably scrape if you got to the bottom. Now you can either do this at the bottom, reverse off at an angle, or do what uh, we've done here. Now it's not a four-wheel drive vehicle, it's an SUV, so it's a bit lower than the standard four-wheel drives. But as you can see, we, we didn't touch. Came close, but we didn't. And it's safe to go wherever you want. Remember on the uh, the new scooter racks, the ramp is the left-hand side, so you'd park normally. Pull the pins, and the ramp drops down, and off comes the scooter. And off we go. Now to fold it back up, pull the pins out, lift the ramp, it folds neatly. There's another pin, pull that out, drop the ramp completely down and the pin holds the ramp from popping up. Pull the locking pin out, it's that easy. Lift the scooter rack up, so um, it stores neatly and you just put the pin back in the same hole that you pulled it out of and then put the locking pin into the main pin. And it won't go anywhere. Plenty of room at the back. Here's another uh, shot of how to put the pin in. So that's the main pin and then the locking pin. Scooter rack locked in place. Travel anywhere you like with it. 